Hello guys, Dennis here and welcome to another tutorial. So, this is what we're going to be creating and this is how you do it. So, let's get started. <coughs> so, first of all, let's create a new comp and uh, 1920 by 1080 is alright, 30 frames per second and 8 seconds for the duration. So let's first of all let's create a new solid and let's call this one um, BG for background. Hit OK and now go over to your effects panel and type in ramp. Let's drag this ramp onto our background solid and change this to radial ramp here and now let's change some nice bluish color for the starting color and a little darker blue for the ending color all right this looks fine hit okay um let's drag this down to the center uh, something like this the other one oh, somewhere over here yeah I think this looks all right okay so let's create another solid yep um, yeah leave everything as it is hit okay ah let's call this um, rain raindrops for example Go over to your effects um, panel again and type in CC particle and type the CC particle world and drag it right onto your new solid. And as you can see, we have some very interesting particles already. Um, let's change the birth rate to around 8 and this one to go to extras um, open up your effect camera and now we want to rotate the X axis to um, 90 degrees type in 90 and let's set the distance to zero we want that to be zero yes all right okay so let's move on, uh, we can close the effect camera, uh, open up particle and let's give it some white color and some, some gray, grayish color, yeah. <coughs> uh, set the opacity to 100% and let's Go over to the physics we don't want any gravity so we want to zero that out um, yeah you can leave everything else as it is go to producer let's check this um, uh, yeah we want the Y position a little more over to like negative 0. 5 or maybe 0. Point, yeah 0. 0.5 that's all right um, yep this looks already like some uh, water drops okay let's move on um, let's change this here to 1.5 because I want some I want the, uh, a little less rain here Okay, uh, we can zero the radius for the Y and Z axis out, uh, yeah, all right, now let's close this one here, and I think this is all right. Producer. Okay. 
I think this is looking nice. So let's create a new solid again. And let's call this surface because we want to have some something like these water splashes on the on the ground. So let's drag the new solid right underneath our rain drop solid. And let's go to our background layer and let's copy the ramp and paste it right onto our surface layer and now go to effects uh, type in cc yeah this one drizzle uh, drag it right onto our surface and as you can see we already have some something yeah or maybe a little less 0.8 yeah I like this better and let's put 0.8 here as well okay all right now what I want to do here is I want these um, rain drip things to appear right after the first raindrop hit the hit the surface so let's um, put the opacity here down to zero and and turn it up to 100 percent like 25 frames later so yep let's drag this over here okay okay as you can see the rain drop start and then after a while the these um rain things on the floor start to appear which is exactly what we want so now um, let's check this particle world again because i want the the position of the y-axis to be a little more or a little further away so I put it to negative uh, 0 0.65 yep so this is it this is how we create the raindrop effect I hope you like this um, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you're watching the second part and yep, see you soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. Um,